What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing? It has been a long time that I haven't posted a video. Uh, I kind of stopped at the beginning of the year and it's April, uh, almost the end of April. So I'm in a bit of a predicament. Let me show you what I mean. Walking out to my garage. Now my workspace looks a lot different from the last time you've seen it. Uh, I've got my, my photograph station set up right there. My photograph box bag label all that stuff on the back side of my shelving unit here got a couple baskets a little shelf that i use uh sorry about the lighting i know it sucks but fabric shaver labels scissors bat another rack um i'm gonna move to this style of rack or z racks in the future this is just like what i have to work with now a little plastic rack but yeah, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four of these Husky shelves. I've got a red Husky shelf over here that's got inventory. Now I'm working on the bottom of this one and I have pretty much a full shelf except for the top because the top is kind of storage. And this is just a bin of sweaters that do not fit correctly in the boxes. I mean, they fit, but they take up, you know, like a good, I could probably only fit like 10 sweaters in one box versus like 20 to 25 other items. Um, you know, I use this over here for my shoes um, and everything. <laughs> but as you see, my garage is, you know, slap packed, full um, photo box, shipping shelf, and then like all this other stuff. I have some extra shelves available. But like all this, this extra room has taken up with, you know, like garage items, storage items, that kind of thing. So the predicament is, you know, I've talked to my wife, Kelsey, about this um, recently. I can go get a storage unit. The, the closest climate controlled storage unit is about eight to 10 minutes away from my house. Not bad. Now, the, the biggest unit they have is a 20 by 25, which is what I would need. It's about $300 a month, which, is it too bad on the price? It's not too bad. But what my wife and I talked about is buying a shed for our backyard. Now I do live in a, in a neighborhood that has an HOA. Nobody, it's a brand new neighborhood. Um, we moved in on the first phase on the first street, uh, in December of 2020. So, you know, it's 2023, about three years old, which is crazy that we've been here that long, but that's the other option is buying a shed for the backyard like a like a 10 by 10 enough to fit all the bikes that my my son doesn't even ride his bike he was just saying he wanted to get rid of it you know my daughter's little jeep the lawnmower which <laughs> i kind of want to get rid of here soon this guys mark my words this will be the last year that i cut my own grass not be, i mean i hate cutting grass but because time like i would rather pay somebody to do it versus having to do it my wife doesn't agree, but I do. I don't really care. I'm the one who's got to do all this stuff that takes time. You guys know if you resell, it is time is our biggest enemy um, and our, our biggest ally at the same time. <sighs> so that is my predicament of, of what do I do? Do I go ahead and jump into the storage unit or do I buy the shed, move all this stuff out, and then I have another half of the garage? The only thing that would be staying in here, other than the racks and stuff, because the plastic racks could go, that little silver metal rack right there, and this rack right here could go in the in the shed. And then I have three of these red ones. Um, well, actually, one's being used over there, but I could always, you know, purpose my shipping station into one of these racks. Um, that would help out a lot. But the only thing that would be staying in the garage would be um, like this, my tool bench, the freezer. Uh, the little mini fridge on top of the freezer, a couple of things. Um, like I would probably keep one of the red shelves in here as like a storage shelf, at least, you know, two to three shelves, maybe two, um, just some stuff that, you know, we might need to come out here and grab instead of having to go out in the back into the shed, uh, to get it. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think I should do? Um, as much as I would love to just get the storage unit and get all this out and get my whole garage back. I think I can get a shed for about a thousand, like one of the like Sterilite, uh, 
like hard plastic ones. I think I can get one for about a grand ish. Um, you know, that's three months rent, little over three, three months rent at the, at the storage unit. And then I can open up the whole garage, um, which is about the size of a storage unit. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, do I just go ahead and, and eat the grand, get the shed? We'll have it forever. Uh, you know, we can move it. Um, or do I go get the storage unit and just go ahead and move out? Because inevitably, even if I buy the shed for the backyard, inevitably I will have to move out of my garage at some point. Um, but not, but not right now. So I'm thinking I'm leaning a little bit more towards if I can get approved by the HOA, which I freaking hate the HOA. They're, they're trash. Um, <laughs> but I'm sure I, I don't even want to get started on the HOA. They're each HOA, HOAs are freaking evil, but I'm leaning more towards the shed right now, just because it's going to, I think it's going to save me a little money down the long, in the long run. Um, at least right now, you know, 300 bucks a month. It's not that bad. I can afford it, but do I want to afford it? That's $300 that comes out of my sourcing budget um, every month, pretty much. Um, now it's not going to be that big of a deal because $300 isn't, $300 isn't, isn't going to make or break me at all because I'm, I'm going to be able to, to make a lot more money. I'm going to be able to two and a half, either way I go, I should be able to two and a half times my, um, my, my inventory, my storage. So, you know, the, the bigger technically, like theoretically, <laughs> the larger, your store, the more amount of items you have in your store, the the more you list a day, the more you're going to sell a day, right? That's like the, you know, like the, the short version. Um, shoes, I have three bins of shoes. There's a bin there. There's one next to it. And then the one on the, the left, the black one. This one is just like a, it's got a couple things in it, a couple big hats, a couple of, there's two mugs in there and then a plush that, um, that's live in my store. I'm not actively picking that stuff up. I'm just picking up those items because I, if they have a high sell through rate or they're desirable and I know they'll sell fast. I thought that Bucky's plush was going to sell fast. I might have to lower it, the price, but regardless, I'm done buying shoes. Now, um, I'm trying to get rid of all my shoes. So if you guys follow me and you're looking for some shoes, go to my eBay store. I can give you a really good deal. Uh, if you just let me know which ones you want, I'll take them down and ship them to you, uh, you know, for a pretty good price. That way you're not paying eBay fees. You can just Venmo me or cash at me or something if you want. Uh, I still have a crap ton, literally a crap ton of those shirts right there. Um, those are the Shoeless Joe Jackson museum shirts or whatever. If you guys want one of those, I can get them to you like 12, 13 bucks shipped probably. Uh, I literally just want them gone. If you buy more than one, I can give them to you for like five bucks a piece plus shipping. So like 10 bucks, probably all in. Um, and like I said, I can do that via just inst inst hit me on Instagram and we can work a deal out if you want one of those. Uh, but hats guys, I am selling hats, uh, a lot of hats right now. Um, I use that photo box right there for shoes and hats. Like I said, shoes are going away. So honestly, the hat setup might have to figure something out. Um, I don't want to take that down and put it up every time I need to, to photograph hats because I photograph hats every day, pretty much. Um, usually if I get a few, I just photograph those first, throw them in my daily, um, in my, and get them in my draft bank. And then I launch, um, usually I launch one to two a day. Sometimes I launch 10 a day. It just depends on what I want to do that day, what I need. Um, I don't like to sit on inventory. So if I'm, if I photograph, like, let's say I photograph 20 hats in one day and I'm launching one to two a day, you know, that's 10 days before they're all gone. Sometimes I get to that fourth or fifth day and I'm like, you know, it's screw it. I want all these hats because I'm selling other hats that I'm listing later you know the deal. Sorry about the lighting. I know I've talked about getting lights in here. Might have to now that I'm going to hopefully get that shed. Um, but yeah, guys, it's just a daily grind, daily grind. Um, and I just wanted to check in with you. The content's going to start coming back. I don't know how often I'm going to post and I'm not going to tell you I'm going to do something because I don't, I, I literally don't know the time that I have is I don't have a lot of time during the day. And I have other stuff going on too behind the scenes that nobody knows about that I'm working on constantly. Uh, so 
good things hopefully in the works. Um, I've got some videos that I've filmed that need to be edited, probably like 10 to 12. <sighs> Might end up scrapping some of those, I don't know. I wanna put out good informational content um, and like what sold videos to show you guys what brands I'm picking up and what I'm selling them for. My game is volume, so I try to pick up as much for as little as possible and then I try to move it for what I can get. Um, let's say I have a shirt listed for 12 bucks. Somebody offers me seven, probably going to take that offer to move it because they want it. I want it gone. I literally got it to profit. So if I'm getting stuff for a dollar, dollar fifty, two bucks, even I want to move it. Um, and then I, you know, I hit the flea market, spend a little money at the flea, um, every weekend for, for some higher end things that I could probably find at the thrift, but it's easier because it's all there so i don't have to go searching for it i literally walk up to a booth and it's there um so making connections that way too but yard sale season is upon us i might do some yard sale videos i don't know about this weekend my wife is going to taylor swift in atlanta the paris tour so we'll see how the weekend goes i have kid duty um, but the neighborhood right next door to mine is having a community sale. So I definitely, I will definitely be hitting that one. Uh, and then my son is going to be a camp counselor. He's going into seventh grade next year. Uh, but his summer camp, he, he's a CIT counselor in training. So he has like a full day from like nine to three o'clock on Saturday, like a whole, whole day of like, I guess, um, like orientation and training and stuff. So he's going to be doing that. So I don't know. It's going to be a little iffy. It might just be me and my daughter out yard sailing. Who knows? But anyway, guys, just wanted to do a little check-in. Uh, it's a little longer than I anticipated, but yeah, uh, hopefully the next, the next video I make is a, as a what sold video. Um, we'll see what I end up doing today in sales this Tuesday, Tuesdays and Sundays are my slowest days. Usually, um, sometimes I've had, I've had some good Tuesdays, had some good Sundays, but, but you know, looking at the data, um, those are usually my two slowest days. So we'll see. We will see what I make today, how many orders I need to pull. Um, definitely if I don't get one before the weekend, I'll definitely do a, a what sold video on Saturday or Sunday. I ship five days a week or six days a week. So Monday through Saturday I ship and then Saturday's orders and Sunday's orders go out on Monday. So, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll check back in with you guys soon. Stay thrifty and wear your seatbelts. Peace.